Can he get close to this mark? We're not expecting him to finish the season at 400, but he's got power, too. Well, you know, he revamped his swing. His whole swing is offseason. It's paying off for him. You know, he's hit the home runs. He's getting hits. Uh, he's got a lot of confidence right now. I, I could see this guy easily finish between 340, 350 this year. Oh, okay. But I, I just don't, I don't see a, a 400 anytime soon. Just too many at bats. Well, and plus, you know, he's playing at Dodger Stadium. And again, he's got off to an unbelievable start. But I'm thinking probably, you know, 320, 330. That's a great year. I mean, he's never hit 300 at any level, whether minor league or big league. But yes, the swing has changed. He's made adjustments. He's not swinging at pitches outside of the strike zone. He's been awesome. And you like that he's a left hander. He runs yes. well, so that helps to get. That's every a lot. You know, most of the time he's facing right-handed hitters. He's got the advantage. So uh, I like this guy a lot. So I wouldn't be surprised if he hit 370 with the swing he's got right now. But I, I'm looking at him to finish between somewhere at 340. Yeah. He jumped 20 points in two seconds. Well, well that's <laughs> right. You know, but what home happened? runs and RBIs, I think this guy's he's got it all. And he's got it working, but the confidence is key for him right the, now. The only place anybody, if they ever do hit 400, is going to be Coors. <laughs> no, honest to goodness, yes. just because okay. of the expansiveness of the field, the way the ball carries. Not happening at Dodgers. I was going to keep the conversation going so you'd say you'd hit 450 or something. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm just I'm not Check back later away. in the show. Yeah. Check back later. Later. Just check back late June. We'll see where <laughs> Yankees keep winning despite uh, all of the injuries. When we look at the American League East, Yankees still the team to beat. And did you feel that way at the start of the I, year? I like the Yankees at the beginning of the year. Obviously, with all the injuries, I said, uh-oh, we may have been in a little bit of trouble. But the way that those guys have come in uh, and, and played, they've given the opportunity, it's going to come back to help them later on in the season because when Judge gets back, Stanton gets back, Didi's playing, taking balls at shortstop, he's playing. You know, those guys will go to the bench. But when called upon, at least they can draw upon their early experience. I like the Yankees because of the bullpen. When that bullpen gets healthy, I mean, that's going to be a five-inning game, and then it's going to be shut down. That's right, why I like the Yankees. I like the Yankees, too, to start the yeah. season. And now I like them even more because of all the interchangeable parts. These young kids have grown up fast, shown they belong in the big leagues, and they're starring, all four of them. Urshela, uh, Urshela. Uh, Gladys Torres has proved he can carry the team. Well, who and out. Sanchez is back, swinging the bat like he's capable. Of. I mean, I, I really like this team. Uh, when the big stars come back, it's going to be interesting. Because if they're not swinging that well, I mean, how much rope do you give them to, to not do well when you got young kids that are on fire and have proven they can win right now? And, and you know, the guy that's going to be interesting, I, I, like, I think everybody goes to the bench, but Frazier, does he get an outfield spot? Do you keep him out there? I mean, because, you know, you're going to have Hicks out there. You've got Gardner. You've got Judge. Is Stanton, is he going to play in the outfield? You get, like, he, of all the guys, for me, that's going to be a tough one to just sit down. Well, Aaron Judge so far has done an amazing job with all of that, having to handle that, mm -hmm. and I'm sure he'll handle it well as they remain in first place.